With the new Child's Play movie out in theaters, the new remake, there are now eight movies in the Chucky franchise. So we're gonna rank these movies from worst to best. Let's get started. <music> Hey everybody, my name is Justin and I love to watch movies and I also love to watch horror movies like Chucky. If you guys can relate, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my up and coming ranking videos, movie reviews, trailer actions, anything like that. Today we're going to be ranking all eight of the Chucky films. I've always loved watching the Chucky films. The second Chucky movie, Child's Play 2, was the first horror film that I ever saw. And I remember seeing it at a birthday party and just being truly, like, scared while watching that film. Ever since then, I've always admired this franchise. So, with this new reboot, I was a little bit worried on how they were going to make it for a modern audience. And I thought it was a pretty decent film, so we're going to see where that ranks into this list. So let's get this list started with number 8. Seed of Chucky. Seed of Chucky is just such a weird film. So many different storylines took away from the fun from this movie. The movie brought back Tiffany and also introduced their son, Glenn. The whole plot for the film felt bizarre and completely insane. Chucky was fed up with his life and how it ended up being with his son, Glenn, and his wife, Tiffany. And he wanted his son to follow in his footsteps, but his son had another agenda. This movie feels more like a comedy rather than a horror film, which isn't what the original films set up. The odd thing about this movie is that it totally could work if some of the story elements were just a little bit different. Coming in at number 7 is Child's Play 3. This is probably the least memorable Child's Play film. It has some fun in it. Chucky is still a menacing character. But with where it takes place, it feels very contained and there's not much Chucky can do when trying to kill Andy. I've seen this movie a few times when I ranked this franchise a while back, a couple years ago, I think. And then I just recently watched it again and I saw it when I was younger. I think I've seen about three or four times and I don't really remember too much of it when I was younger and it's because it doesn't really stand out amongst some of the other films. I feel like a lot of the kills are just very uh, smaller compared to other movies and Chucky himself is not as aggressive and violent as he was in the other films. It's still an enjoyable film, but easily the most forgettable one of the franchise. Coming in at number six is Child's Play, the new remake. I think this is a more believable story compared to the original film. Uh, this is about a doll that is connected to the cloud and uh, Kaslin company. And the doll just goes bizarre and really wants to be a friend to Andy and will kill anybody who is in their way of be stopping that. And... Um, I think the movie does take its time to become violent and fun. There's a lot of setup between Andy and Chucky and becoming friends. There are some subplots uh, regarding certain things I just feel like didn't do much to the movie, especially these kids. I feel like they tried to rip off um, the Losers Club and Stranger Things and just really didn't work. I think Mark Hamill is perfect as Chucky really gives such an eerie vibe to the character. But the movie did manage to be fun and hilarious at times, also being violent and understanding that this is a doll and the doll is running around killing people. But there are certain elements that really do not work. Coming at number five is The Bride of Chucky. This is where the movies have a shift in their tone. This is a really like a gothic kind of movie. We were introduced to Tiffany who admired Charles Lee Ray and wanted to be turned into a doll just like him. Tiffany is equally as psychotic as Chucky and having someone working alongside Chucky adds something new to the story. This movie had a good mix of humor in it as well as those violent moments. The first three movies had a little more horror aspect than comedy. This one just kind of had the nice little balance. It did go into a little more of the comedic side at times, but still managed to be really dark. I like the relationship between Chucky and Tiffany. Adding something new into the movie, not being the same things as the first three, was something nice compared to them. It's definitely a bizarre film when you think about it, and there's these dolls that are trying to get married, and they're making love, and it's just weird, but it's still a fun time. 
Coming at number four is The Cult of Chucky. Cult of Chucky brought back Andy from the first film and the same actor too. I thought the story Cult of Chucky told was interesting and it brought a new element to the Chucky films. At seven films into a franchise, you have to do something a little bit different. It can't be the same thing over and over again. Bride of Chucky introduced something else with the wife and then Cedar Chucky had a son. Cult of Chucky introduced more Chuckies. So many different rules have been applied to Charles Lee Ray and his status as Chucky. Cult of Chucky just adds something more to it in a fun way. I liked watching grown-up Andy interact with Chucky and how he had progressed through the years and how he handles Chucky. Cult of Chucky was another fun surprise. I wasn't expecting so much of these straight to Blu-ray releases, but they end up being really good and having a real fun story, focusing on its characters rather than these really dumb, silly moments, really understanding who Chucky is and the relationship with Andy. Coming at number three is The Curse of Chucky. After the last couple of Chucky films were more comedic than horror films, Curse of Chucky went back to child's play roots. Curse of Chucky, despite being a straight to DVD movie, told a great story, something that has been lacking for t some time now. The suspense reminded me much of the first film and built up Chucky perfectly. Chucky's look was much more menacing compared to the last few films, and the kills remained gory and reminded me a lot of those first movies. Curse of Chucky was something I wasn't anticipating to be a really good film. I really ended up appreciating the focus on the story and the characters rather than those silly moments. It was suspenseful, it was gory, it was fun. Chucky still managed to be a really vicious character and I still love that. Coming at number two is Child's Play 2. Child's Play 2 is a solid sequel to the first film despite the fact that it ultimately feels like the first film but with new kills and a few changes here and there. The film added more background to Charles Lee's Ray's situation in the doll. We learned that Ray is now stuck in Chucky's body forever and that adds to the weight of the story. The story for Child's Play 2 is the most logical way to go in this franchise, and it offers one of the best ways to end a Child's Play movie. Them in their warehouse with all the other Chucky dolls. It's a lengthy scene and I really like it. It's really gory and it's a lot of fun. But coming at number one is the first Child's Play film. I absolutely love this movie. The first Child's Play film made dolls scary. Chucky joined the ranks of Michael Myers, Leatherface, and Jason after his first film. This film is built up so perfectly, with Chucky hardly getting any screen time in the beginning, which adds more suspense to the idea of a doll running around. Once Andy is convinced that Chucky is alive, the film is presented through Chucky's eyes, which adds so much suspense to the movie. It reminded me of much of the first Friday the 13th movie where you just see uh, the mother walking around. It kind of reminds me a lot of that. The film did an amazing job at not making Chucky silly since it is a small doll running around. Instead, the film managed to make Chucky truly terrifying by using different techniques to present and the voice acting from Brad Dorif added a lot to Chucky. Brad Dourif is truly amazing in the role as Chucky. Great, throughout the years, he's done a great job lending his voice for Chucky. Truly menacing, and I absolutely love how it was set up in this first movie. So there you guys have it. All eight Chucky films ranked worst to best. You guys can check out my review for Child's Play right over here. Stay tuned for more reviews and ranking videos coming your way. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.